How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. First off, I want to say thank you so much again because my YouTube channel is actually getting a ton of subs right now and I really appreciate that a bunch. So basically in this video, I'm just going to be telling you five tips. We're going to start out with number five. Always double check your spelling because I don't know how many times I've saved a project as like a PNG or something I can't edit and there was a spelling error in it so I had to recreate the entire thumbnail so you want to avoid like things that are like stupid like this right here like you could overlook that easily after spending like an hour or however long you spend on a thumbnail it's just something you really need to look out for number four choose a color scheme so basically what this means is choose like two to three colors Keep it like a low amount of colors because you don't want to have 20 different colors on your design because it'll probably look crazy and your eyes won't know where to look. As you can see here in this design, I used orange, red, and like purple, but they're different shades of each color. That's why it looks like there's more. So your eyes focus on the words because they're all orange and then the background's purple to separate them. You don't want to do the exact same color as the background because if I did purple text and the purple background, it would blend too well and it just would not look good. So have two to three colors per design. Number three, keep it simple, but make it catch your eye at the same time. So what I mean by that is have not too much text, just enough to get your point across, have a few images and just make it look clean. So. Like this right here, this catches your eye because of the colors and you can see the photo P logo right in the middle. So your eye probably goes there first, which is good because my video is about the photo P and it's good to catch people's eyes, especially on YouTube, because obviously views are everything. That's how you grow on YouTube. So if you aren't getting views then you aren't growing and I'm sure 90% of you guys want to get views. I mean, who doesn't? So this is a great way to get you some views and maybe some new subscribers. Number two, choose the right font. So you may be like, how can you choose a wrong font? You can definitely choose a wrong font. Basically, if you have like a font that's in cursive, that's like nearly impossible to read, that is just not a good idea. You want it to be thick, big, easy to read. Basically like this right here. If you guys want to know what this is, it is lemon milk that's what the font name is and you can search that up on the font i have a video going over how to install fonts in the photo piece so you can check that out if you want to do it but basically have big thick text that's easy to read and that's all you got to do and it'll look great all right number one make sure your text is easy to read not small or a weird font so make sure it's really big because thumbnails shrink it a lot you don't see it like it's full screen. You see it in a little, tiny little window. But you want to make sure it's big enough that you can still read it even in that tiny window. So that's what I try to do. I try to fill up all the space with the text as much as I can. And also you want to have a good font. Like I said before, they go hand in hand. If you apply all those, then you should come up with some pretty cool designs that I think will make your channel look great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.